next speaker is Anod Kalari from Humanava. Uh, and he is a best-selling author of Mr. Happiness. He's a French national who was, has lived outside of France for 20 years extensively in the US, Japan, China, and South Africa. So he is a, not even just well-traveled, but uh, his, when, he, when he goes, he stays there. He has lived in all these places. He's worked all over the Middle East and South America. Uh, Humanava.com is based in Bordeaux, in uh, Le Village, uh, in an innovation center. Uh, it was featured, the startup was featured in the 21, 2021 Salon RH. Uh, it's been featured so many places, Dubai Expo 2021, Viva Tech, Sudquest, TV7, there's an endless list of so many more. He's a member of French Tech. He's been mentioned in over 300 publications in the US, France, and Africa. He's a regular contributor at France's number one TV business channel, BFM Business. He's coached over 100 teams in New York. I didn't write this, I'm almost done. So much to say, it's, I don't wanna take all your time. 25 plus countries talked about happiness and purpose at work, trained 100 plus chief happiness officers in the US, Europe, Latin, and America. I think I would have to name all the countries in the world to get all the places he's been and done. His events have gathered over 10,000 people, spoken to TEDx three times, Harvard, the World Happiness Summit, and he's moderated the World Happiness Report at the UN, the World Impact Summit in Bordeaux. And finally, let me turn it over <laughs> to Arnaud. Thank you, David. And this is why I'm so famous that there is 10 of you tonight. Thank you to the 10 of you. Can you please uh, uh, come a little bit closer? So I just, I got some heat, chaleur humaine, un petit peu. S'il vous plaît, rapprochez-vous. On va passer un bon moment. Et puis je me suis dit, allez, le PowerPoint, on est dans un truc digital. On va le faire à la l'ancienne. Roots. Roots, guys. Ils ont été très sympas. Merci au salon de quand même mettre. They just uh, decided to put at least my picture and the name of my uh, brand, Humanava. D82 will be there 5 to 6 p.m. tonight. We'll have champagne, actually, with my team. Been working very hard. Thank you for the introduction, David. Sorry I missed it. I was in my, my, my next thing, and, uh, and I'll make sure to check it out. Not tonight, before I go back to Bordeaux, but the next few days. And when I see you, I miss New York, right? I, I love your brain. Love your brain, I love how he speaks. Um, thank you all for coming. Uh, I'll, I'll do it in English, although I'm not sure how international it is. How many of you are not French? Okay, great. All right, so four people. Let's do it in English. Audrey, you, are you French or? You're French. Okay, so for, where are you from, sir? Canada? You speak. Okay, so you're from New York. Are you from? UK, great. And where else? Virginia? Russia, welcome. Welcome, it's in uh, this time. She's Russian guy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Salon, to all of you, right? I mean, I can have fun, right? We're a small group, it's intimate. Let's have fun, right? Um, I wanted to thank, uh, they're not here, but the whole organization of the Salon, Odile and Salia and my new friend, David. I like because in America, we can say friend we just met, right? So he's my friend. My good, let's applause my good friend David, please. Let's give him some energy, please. More, more. Thank you so much, also helping me. We had some good thing uh, in the salon. I just attend the Metaverse conference. I uh, encourage you, all of you, to, to watch it on replay. It was fascinating. For those of you raising money, like I am, there's an amazing venture capital uh, panel with Edu Capital, Bright Eyes, Bright Eyes Investments, I believe. So uh, I want to make sure I am available for them. We're looking for fun. I think, from what I've seen at the Salon, there's a, there's a new energy there. I don't know if it's because post-COVID or what's happening in, you know, Russia, Ukraine, that makes us think, okay, I don't know if I can help there, but at least can I help myself to understand myself a little bit more purpose. Oh, but we have Abu Dhabi in the room. Let's applause. He's come from Abu Dhabi. Guillaume. He's representing the Abu Dhabi Investment Office. Thank you for the honor. I had the chance to uh, do a lot of things in uh, that part of the world. So inspiration has been the sort of the goal, trajectory of my life. Um, 
for those of you that were here this morning, I talked. Who was here in this morning? It was a bigger keynote. You were here, you were here. I talked about the fact when I was 16 years old, I was just so unmotivated. And then one day I said, I have to do something. I'm just going to be a work in the field. And I just moved my ass and I just went to US, Georgia, not New York. And then I ended up in Japan, in China, and I just, I was on the move for 20 years, getting inspired, getting seeds everywhere. I didn't care for money. I didn't care for prestige. I care for just nourishing myself. And then at 40, about eight years ago, I decided to just transfer it back. I was in New York at the time, and I decided to start a well-being agency, agence sur tout ce qui est bonheur au travail. And from this, I start really the work of transformation. So, and this is what I'm here to talk about. Inspiration for me, it's how to keep fueling your gas, how to keep fueling your, your stomach, your, your vision, but just you keep fueling. So you need to go to events, you need to surround yourself with the right people, eat the right book, the right food. But in a way, it's easy to keep being inspired. There's a lot of videos on the internet, lots of books. Transformation, a bit harder, right? So I've helped, yeah, um, in the thousands of people that transformed themselves in 30 countries last eight years. And, and basically for me, it comes down to this. One is you need to change your mindset, right? Your identity, what you think of yourself, right? And I apply that to myself as well. For instance, I, um, beginning of the year, I was always into sports, but I was never an athlete. And I decided to become an athlete at my age, 49. Six months ago, I did six months of boxing and I hurt so much. I had a nevralgie cervicobrachial. I don't know if you know that, you know? Horrible, horrible. I could not move my arm, but it's okay. I transform myself now. I'm a, I'm a fucking athlete, right? And I love it. And I went to see the doctor. He said, it's okay. It's just part of the blessing of becoming an athlete. You need to hurt yourself. Same thing in the business world. It's my third company. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. It's okay. I keep going. I keep doing some other things. Same field. So first is that mindset change that you want to do, that new identity. What is it you want to be now? Two is action. I keep telling my team, they keep asking me, what's the strategy? Very French. What's the process? What's the strategy? Action. How many sales calls we do? How many emails? How many campaigns? How many salons we can go to? Focus on action. Something will happen. Look at everything I've done in my life. Just go for it. Action. So mindset, action, and the vision. You might have not the strategy, but you might have a, a very clear, precise vision. With Humanava, ça marche bien le son, c'est assez fort parce que j'entends beaucoup elle. Je, je l'entends, c'est pas assez fort, j'entends. Je, moi je l'entends. Hein. Okay. If you can maybe hamp it up, I, I just hear, je, je l'entends beaucoup la, la dame. Um, and vision is where you want to go. Right? Who you want to surround yourself with? In what capacity you want to do what you will do? In our company, Humanava, we do master classes on personal growth, courage, dépassement de soi in French, how to surpass yourself, leadership, motivation, feedback, bienveillance. We take the top speaker of France for now. We're starting with the American in July. July, August, we should be back in New York. We'll have people like Tal Ben Shah, I don't know, that give the first happiness course in Harvard. Top, the top of the, uh, of the world speakers on our platform. We know exactly where we want to be. We see those 100 master classes, 90 minutes each, two hours, break, break it down into uh, models, small models of five, 10 minutes. So we know how I'm going to get there, I'm not sure trying a lot of things, a lot of investors, lots of way, and I'll find a way. I don't care how. We might move to Abu Dhabi. This is why he's here, actually. We're talking to, I have one of my investors from Dubai, 
very responsive into what we do. We, we know where the, the, the world takes us. So, so five things that, for those of you that want to go further, please come to buy our booth, D82, or buy my book. I'll be uh, signing my, uh, my second book. But a few things that might help you in the personal life and uh, your business life. First thing for transformation is what I call Kensho and Satori. Anyone aware with those terms? No? I spent four years in Japan and have a thing for Japan. I thought I was even a Japanese in my previous life, but I did the DNA test. I'm just a pure European guy. Nothing. Nothing in Mongolia, nothing in China, nothing Japanese in me, just a pure European guy. But somehow, I love the Japan. They have, they're very philosophical, right? And Kensho, in terms of transformation, is when you change yourself over a long period of time. K-E-N-S-H-O. Divorce, death, uh, a, a new job. Things that slowly transform you over usually the course of two or three years. And then you all have Satori moment. Satori are prise de conscience in French. Those sort of enlightenment without being spiritual, just those moments where, and I'm sure you had many of them, David, right? Oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. One day you get up and I'm an AI guy, among other things, right? But you get up one day and, oh, this is, this is who I am. And it's okay, you keep going. A, 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 an example, I was in Aruba. I don't know if anyone know Aruba, you know Aruba? You know? Aruba, it's a beautiful island. Uh, in front of Venezuela, it's called the Highland of Happiness. And I was, uh, I was uh, lucky to, to do a lot of workshops and conference there. And one day I was facilitating a conference with the UN and big people, and I'm like, suddenly, this is exactly where I'm supposed to be in my life. I was just, oh, I love that moment. I, I, just, I just want to juice it. I just want to prolong it, right? So Kensho and Satori, two. As we say in Zulu, for those that speak Zulu in the room, um, Shosho Lodza. Shosho Lodza, it's everyone together doing something. Let's help each other. Or in Tanzania, they say, Kwamimi Agapa, which means, what is it you're afraid of whenever you get into a new ecosystem? Same thing I tell my team, those three people you'll see on my booth. Get involved, talk to people, be on the forum, you have to be there. You learn the way. Walking the way, you learn the new things in the edtech world. We've only been edtech for one year. So we still have learned things to learn, but it's okay. Not strategy, learn, walk, and then we're gonna run. Um, sacrifice. It's a very American thing. When I talk about this in Europe, sacrifice is a big, and it's a big thing in learning as well. What is it you're willing to sacrifice in order to be another person, another company, another employee. I told that my team, but I told anyone I worked with, coached with over the past few years, what is it you're willing to sacrifice? Is it money? Is it priorities of your life? Pr some priorities, is it sports, food? We need to choose priority. Same thing in education. Every big corporate uh, firm that came on our booth the last two days. What's your priority? What is it you want absolutely to have with your employee? And maybe we can work and maybe we cannot. It's okay. What is the most, the, the most important priority? And if it's a colleague of mine, a different startup, I'll send you, I keep sending my, uh, my Bastian guy here around looking at other companies to, to create partnership. Because I've done events in 30 countries. I had one assistant in New York. Partnership, partnership, partnership. This is how you can do anything you want. Publish anything, create any company, make anything. Just talk to people, say, hey, how could we work together, right? So can show, sacrifice, role model. This is basically what our platform is about, Humanava. It's role model. Who are those people that makes you go forward? That makes you understand yourself. Take from what if, 
take whatever they've been through, right? For instance, I'm sure you know, uh, for, I just launched a podcast for Humanava. It's on Dépassement de Soi. It's called The Power of Human. It's free, any platform. My model for me interviewing people is Joe Rogan. Anyone Joe, know Joe Rogan? Two people? I'm not sure about his politics. If you, um, I don't like whenever he goes politics. I just, uh, let's just say Putin is one of his friends, maybe, uh, you know, when he talks. But uh, except politics, he's got a way with people. He's my role model. Whenever I train for sports, I look at another American, David Goggins. You know him? Gotta watch him. Best motivational speaker now. The black guy used to be I don't know, 300 kilos, now he's 45. Really handsome man, work out like crazy, and he's got his mindset. He does one ultra marathon a week. A week. He used to be 300 kilos at 25 years old. Absolutely no money. Became Marines, first black guy, super secret force, the first black guy 15 years ago doing it. And he keep surpassing yourself. He's my go-to guy. So who are your go-to guy? in your field, in your specialty. Look around, follow them, follow those 10 people. In my last book, I call them the, those angels of your life. Some of them you will come close, and some of them you just follow them from apart. It's okay. And then pivot, of course. When is it the time to pivot your company? When is it to, the time to pivot your life? Um, maybe I can tell you a, a, a few stories. We have a... And it's still online. Our company before uh, Humanava was called Stand Up for Passion. Standupforpassion.com. You can look hundreds of videos. We went around the world helping people to transform and they will tell their story. And there's so much power in the telling of your story to understand yourself, to understand your storytelling. Who are you? Who are you in relation to people as well? Whenever you tell your story, something is happening and you have suddenly less weight on your shoulder. All of a sudden, you're transferring energy to some people and you a little bit more light in the world. Just a few, many, I mean, we've done it 15 times in New York, 15 times around the world. But in New York, and you might know him, you should know him if you don't know him, Tesh Paul Batia. He's a number three now with Elon Musk, a friend of mine. He's not Elon Musk, but Tesh Paul. I don't think I'll be here. I don't think I would need any money if I'd be friend with Elon. But uh, Tesh Paul is my friend. Tesh Paul has not invested yet because my master class are in French. So I have to call him when it's in English. Uh, but Tesh Paul Batia, typical story. I knew him. He was in the tech ecosystem of New York a few years ago. He had just failed his third startup. One million dollar loss, two million dollar loss, three million dollar. The guy's brilliant. I, he was a friend, we're having a beer, and he's like, You got to tell your story in public. I'm like, I oh, know, I'm just, I'm a failure. We work together his story, and it's online. You can check it out. It's called I Am an Imposter. Because that's what he, he felt at the time, that he was an imposter at life. He did the speech, there was someone from Google in the room. Start working at Google, chief of startup ecosystem in New York, and now is working at Axiom, sending billionaire into space. I don't know how much he gets a year, but um, must be quite nice, quite nice pack package. Um, I'm thinking another friend of my of mine, Donalyn. Donalyn was 40 years old, typical New York career girl, very Sex and the City girl. And in one week, she lose her job, her apartment, and her boyfriend-to-be. Real story. She was going to marry the guy who was a German guy. They go to a park, Central Park, one day. There's another German girl. The guy starts speaking with the German girl. And my friend, being a very nice woman, oh, something is happening with the girl. Keep talking to her. To her. He, and he fell in love with the girl. Didn't marry my friend, Mar Mar Donalina depressed, lost her own money, and then through yoga, through meditation, she become now, she's one of the New York top life coach. Whatever she becomes, she could have 
you know, gone into retail, whatever. But she found at some point the way to transform herself, right? So I've got stories. I, I did an event, and that's what sort of brought me back to France two years ago. I now live in Bordeaux, a very innovative town of Bordeaux. You know, very, very into that, right? Um, and uh, in Bordeaux, I did one event with La Cité du Vin, which was, I'm thankful for that. It's our first client now, very prestigious company. And we brought people that changed their life. One of them is Frédéric. Um, forgot his last name, his video is online. 50 years old, typically the case, I don't know if you know, but in France, very tough for 50 years old. Many get fired. The average for 50 years old, when they lose their job, is two and a half years to find a job. In France, they don't like very young, they don't like 50 years old, unless you're at the very top. So there's a, there's a real problem, unfortunately, in this. Uh, so my friend, top job. Director of innovation, one of the top com French company. Uh, in, the in the same two months, lose his job, divorce, gave his $1 million in his bank account to his ex-wife, fall in love with a girlfriend, and that girlfriend former boy, uh, former husband kill himself and all of a sudden he's broke have to be a stepdad to two kids and he has no job has to transform himself came to Bordeaux could not afford Paris Paris anymore and now he's, he's coaching as well and he's doing well and he's got a new he's teaching yoga whatever it is I'm talking storytelling here because I see we have time, we have an intimate group, right? It's about transformation, but read as many stories or get inspired by people you want to be close or that just a step above you in the direction you want to be. Ecosystem, ecosystem, ecosystem. Who around, it's very American, we don't do that much in France, it's called masterminds. Create your own mastermind, which is the same group of people that want to go in the same direction of you in the same time. Whether they're 20 years younger, 20 years older. When I, my first job was in finance, all my friends were 40. I was 22. Now I'm 49, my friends are 32 years old because they're startup founder, right? And they're with the same, same spot. I don't care. The age the, doesn't matter. Where is your energy? Get involved with people. Be part of a lot of club, a lot of... Uh, of a community, it's um, yeah, it's really becoming kind of a motivational speech, which is I like that. It's fine. I think we're responding, relating. Do you have any question? How many minutes? On a cinq minutes, deux minutes, come on minutes. Any question? Sinon, uh, my mon, mon stand, mon booth, my booth, D 82. On aura un petit peu de champagne à partir de cinq cinq heures et demie jusqu'à six heures. Et J'ai mes bouquins, etc. N'hésitez pas. Profitez-en J'ai deux minutes Any questions Vas-y, allez Oui, je peux en profiter. So, I have a question for Humanava. What, uh, what is the audience It's a very good question, thank you very much. So, Humanava, we launched it a year ago, right Personal growth platform. It's very... For those of you that know mindvalley.com, no? Anyone? Mindvalley. This is our goal, to go Mindvalley. We want to be the European sort of Mindvalley. It's a company that's worth a billion dollars now. It's based in Malaysia. Only 50 masterclass. We want to go 100 masterclass. Ambitious is huge. The audience, to answer your question, is all employees, not just managers. Every time I present that, I mean, I have, we have a good response. A lot of top companies in France came today. And yesterday, and they all say, oh, it's for managers. I mean, it's okay. They want to pay me well for the top 100, 200 managers. Good, I'm gonna, I'll be happy. I have a check coming in. The truth, it's for everybody. In transformation is for 22 years old to 60 years old. I mean, for instance, the, the not sure why, but the Middle East gets this a lot. They, they, they try to coach in Dubai or Abu Dhabi or Saudi Arabia, they try to coach as much as they can, the 21 years old, the 22 years old. In France, no. The young, let's wait them to be a manager. No. Teach them as much as you can from a young age. So, young age. And every masterclass we have, we make sure the languages is, is geared towards anyone. So, all the top speakers we take, we take the top French speakers. We have the number one. 
I mean, former president of RTL, actual president of TF1 Foundation. We have the top people in France. Yet, sometimes we have to work with them and say, just imagine there is a 22 years old in the room, not just executive. So this is what we, we want. And same thing we'll, when we'll work with Americans or Chinese or we're going to work with Gino Yu. You know Gino Yu? You should know him. He's a consciousness, AI, happiness guy based in Hong Kong, crazy guy. He's going to be on, on our platform. Uh, but I'm derailing here. And it's the, the end. So thank you so much. Maybe I'll do what I do in team building. I used to be a coach for 10 years before the starting. Since we, one word that describe what I talked about, how, the, how you feel now. One word. Happy. Happy. Energized. Energized, sir. Inspired. Inspired, thank you. Very funny, I feel funny. F feel funny, I love it. Free. Free. Inspired too. Inspire. That was the word inspiration. Motivate. Motivated, thank you. Inspire. Inspired. Inspired too. Inspired. You just come, you, you don't know the question. Positive. Positive. Positive, thank you. Younes. 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 Okay, Younes. Empowered. Empowered, thank you. Curious. Curious. Curious, thank you so much. Curious. Curious. Thank thankful. Thankful. Good one, grateful. I'm going to say curious as well. Curious, like that. I'll go with motivated. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Amazing. Amazing, thank you. Intrigued? Oh yeah, Bastien. Passion. 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 Patience. Passion. Anyone? All right, thank you so much. It was a great pleasure, you guys.